Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create wall jumping for a platformer in the Game Maker Studio. Okay, so um, you can see here I've got a room set up. Um, you can pretty much ignore that for now. Uh, start off with my first sprite. It's just a wall sprite. It's just a black 32 by 32 wall. And then I also have my player sprite, which is just a black 32 by 32 circle. So nothing special, nice and simple. Okay, um, I then have two objects, one called OBJ player, um, gave that the player sprite, and one called OBJ wall, and I gave that the wall sprite. Then if you look over at the room, I've set up a bit of a room there. Now you can uh, set up something like that now, or you can wait till I've taken you through all the code that you will need to get this done, that is up to you. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to go into the wall. Now there's no code in here, it's just a solid object, and that's it for the wall. Okay, but um, all the code is in the player. So I'm going to go into that now. Okay, then we'll go to the creative room. Okay, so, we have speed, or SPD equals 8. Uh, that stands for speed equals 8. Um, if you've seen my other platformer tutorial, you would have seen these variables here before. Um, so JMP stands for jump, so that's just the uh, jump power equals 10, grab stands for gravity, and um, set that to 1. Alright, we've got this new variable here called in air, and I've set that to false. Now we're going to use that to check whether the player is in the air or not. And that'll just make that easier. Um, and then last wall equals minus 1, so 1 is none. Oh, sorry, um, I've written that right. Minus 1 is no wall, 1 is right, and 0 is left. Okay, so with this wall jumping, like, there's multiple ways you can do it. In this case, I'm going to do it so that you jump, so you hit the right wall first, jump off that, you can't then jump off the right wall again. You have to then jump off the left wall, and then from that, back onto the right wall. So you've got to go from, like, wall to wall to jump up this, um, yeah, to jump up the walls, you've got to go right wall to left wall, and so on. But um, like, there's other ways to do it, like you could make it so that you can jump up the right wall more than once, but that makes things a bit like more complicated, and this is pretty much just to give you like a, uh, a decent start, and kind of explain some of the main concepts of creating the wall jump. Yeah, so we've just got our uh, keyboard controls here, so key jump, key left, and key right. There, and um, that just makes it easier to change your controls later on if you want to. Okay, um, then I'll go to the collision with wall code. Okay, so we've got move, contact solid, direction, and 8, and then V speed equals 0, nothing hard there. And then um, the step event, which is where everything kind of happens. Okay. Oopsie. Okay, so start off with gravity, if place free, x, y plus 1, gravity equals grav. Um, again, you would have seen this in my other platform tutorial. The only difference between then and now is in this case, for when we, like for when there is no space beneath us, in air is set to true, and then when there isn't, in air is set to false, and last wall is set to minus 1, because we've hit the ground, so we need to reset the last wall. Remembering that minus one is no wall. Okay, so then we have our keyboard, keyboard controls, so if keyboard check, key right, and place free x plus speed, then x plus equals speed. Same thing for left except you're going the other way, so it's minus speed instead. And if keyboard check, key jump, and place meaning x, y plus 1, object wall, then v speed equals minus jump. So that's just jumping in. And once again, if you'd watched my other tutorial, then you would have seen that there as well, and it's probably better explained there. Okay, um, okay, so wall jumping, which is the main part of this tutorial, if in air equals true, then if keyboard check, keyboard right and not place free x plus speed. So what we're checking here is one if we're in the air, two if we're pushing towards the wall, and three if we're actually touching the wall. 
Okay, so this here allows us to check whether we're touching the wall or not. So if there isn't, like if um, close to the right of us isn't free, then we should be up against the wall, and then we're holding in the right key as well. Okay, so while we're doing both of those things, if we pre if um, keyboard check key jump, so if we press the jump key, which in this case is just the arrow key up, then we move on to the actual wall jump. Wait, no we don't. If last wall equals minus one or last wall equals zero. So what checking here is if the last wall is either no wall at all, or the last wall is zero, which was the left wall, then we do our wall jump. So we set V speed to minus jump, which is just like up here in our normal jump. So we're just jumping again, and then last wall equals one. So we're setting the last wall either from minus one or zero to one, which stands for our right wall. Okay, and then um, the left wall jump is generally the same thing, so we check to see if we're in the air or not. In this case, we check our left key and check to the left of us to see if we're touching a wall. Um, then if keyboard check key jump again, and then if our last wall is minus one, which is no wall, or one, which is our right wall, then V speed equals minus jump, so we do our jump, and then we set our last wall to zero, which is a left wall. So, let's say that we were up against the right wall, uh, we'd run this code to do our jump, it had set the last wall to one, which is our right wall, and then we went to do a left wall, it had run this code instead, and it set our wall back to zero. And that is it, so I'll just Tick that off. Um, once again, here's my room. So I've got a player object down here. I've just kind of set up some walls to do my wall jumping on. Alright, and I can run the game. Okay, so here we go. So we've got jumping, we've got moving right and left. Now I'll jump and hit a wall, jump off there, and, uh, and as you can see, I can go up. So um, because of the way I've programmed it, using keyboard check instead of keyboard check press or keyboard check release, you don't have to keep pressing the up button each time you hit a wall. You can just hold down the up button like this and then just go up the walls like that. That'll get you up there. But uh, yeah, that's how you make wall jumping. I uh, hope this helped you out. Any questions on this tutorial, please uh, leave a comment below and I'll answer that as soon as I can. Um, every now and then I get a few people kind of spamming the comment boxes with a bunch of code. If you're going to send me Gmail code, um, it'd be best if you could just send me a personal message. It makes it easier to read and also kind of doesn't spam the comment boxes so much. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, just general questions, just leave those in the comments. Uh, if you want to request a tutorial, feel free to send me a personal message on YouTube or through the Facebook page, which I will link to in the description. Um, once again, hope this helped you out, and I'll see you guys next time.